Good morning for this Wednesday, May 29th. And as you recall, yesterday opened up higher, ran up quite a bit. Okay, this is a daily chart. Okay, ran up and then actually uh, closed lower on the day. We'll look at an intraday chart in just a minute. But right now what I want to do is look at a daily chart. As you, as you know, this is a daily chart of the E-mini S&P 500, right? This is the, this is the open of the year, right? And this is what, what we've seen the entire year. Market's been up big time. We've had some nice pullbacks for some nice buying opportunities down in here. Okay, and it looks like the market has topped right last week, right up in here. As you recall, yesterday what I did was I drew a Fibonacci, the Fibonacci retracements from the high here down to this little corrective low right here. And as I said yesterday morning, the 61.8% retracement should hold as some type of resistance. Well, the market definitely took out that level by more than what I had thought. But anyways, we, we did hit resistance. The market ended up going up to 1672 and three quarters. And the actual 61.8% retracement from this high down to this low was 1665 and three quarters. So it shot past that. But nonetheless, the market did reverse there in the morning and close lower on the day. Now, what we're seeing here is... Look, at the market gapped lower today, it'll be interesting to see if we can try to fill that gap. If we can't fill that gap and we close in the bottom quarter of today's range, I would certainly, certainly expect the market in the next couple days coming back down to test the 1634 and a quarter level, right? And again, that low was made on May 23rd. And as you recall, last Friday, the 24th, the market came in within one tick of test. I mean, it tested that level to the tick, 1634 and a half, and then shot higher. So a big level, okay, well, when I say big, it's relative. The level here at 1634 and change, 1634 and a quarter, if this is taken out to the downside, then what I will look for is, this is what I want to do, okay? I want to measure the, the retracements of the entire year's run from this year's low up to the high. Now again, remember, I use TradeStation, so when I draw the fibs, I've got the toolbar up here. This is the fib tool, so I'll click on that, right? If it's a, if it's a, if, if support, you're, if you're looking for support, you're going to draw from low and dra drag it to the high. So you look at 38.2 percent retracement. You see that right at the hot pink line, which is the 50 exponential moving average on a daily chart. And if you recall, last time the market came back down to the 50 exponential. We bounced big time, right? So again, the 38.2% retracement of the bigger move, the entire year's up move, is right there, right back at that 50. The 50 Fibonacci retracement level is right in here, okay? So I want to know where those levels are. I'm going to also want to measure from this last low. This is the last significant low on the chart. Let's put... The white horizontal. Look, look at this. Look at this low. It's 1530. Look at 1533, 1531. So this is a big level right here. This low, well, what I like to call a ledge. Look at these lows here. Let me point these out to you. These lows. I like horizontal support much more than drawing trend, trend lines. I think a horizontal line through uh, many lows much more significant than trying to draw a trend line. I think trend lines, for the most part, are more subjective. When you, when you get a bunch of lows, like you see here, at least three, I think that pro provides more reliable support. And then, of course, reverse it to resistance when you see the highs. So what I want to do here is I want to draw my Fibonacci retracements from this low, right, up to the high of the year as well. So essentially what we have here is we have two sets of Fibonacci retracements, right? We've drawn it from the low of the year, LL for lowest low of the year, to the high. Okay, so the bigger set's right here, 38, 50, 61. Then I drew it from these lows. And again, these are really the most significant lows on this chart to date, from the high to right here. So I'm going to call this an AL, which is really an active low. That's a significant low. I'm also going to consider this somewhat significant, because if this level is broken, the 16.34 and a quarter, broken to the downside, then at that point I would expect 
the market to drop further and try to at least test the gap low right in here. So a lot to look at here. Look at, I'm going to draw another horizontal line on this low. So if we break down through 13, 1634 in a quarter, I would expect this mark to come down and try to challenge the low on May 3rd made it 1605. And then of course I want to take a, I want to pay attention to the Fibonacci retracements as well. So obviously the first level, if the market's able to break down through 1634 and a quarter, I would expect that 38.2% retracement to be to be tested to 1626 and change. And then the 50 and potentially the 60. Okay. So again, drawing from this low here to up to this high. And then the low of the year up to the high of the year, you've got what? Like we got what we call Fibonacci confluence. Two Fibonacci levels that are in and around the same area. You got 38 of the entire year right here. And then drawing it from this active low up to the high, you've got the 61.8, which is right on top of the 38.2. So you've got Retracement confluence right here at the 50 exponential moving average. All right, so that's that's what I'm seeing. So right now we're kind of a, you know, we're trading below the high of the year. We're trading above this low right here. So really at this stage of the game, I, I'm looking for the market to either break up through the highs or down through these lows. Who knows what's going to happen? I would I would guess the latter. I would expect the market to try to come back down and retest the 1634 level and potentially break and start getting some type of correction in here. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking for. We'll see what happens, and let's let's look at something else real quick. All right, we're, we're on the gold chart. GLD, the ETF for gold. GLD, like I said yesterday, it looks like I mean it looks like a you know, a classic double bottom, right? The retest of these lows. We'll see what happens. So I am positioned right in here. I'm long yesterday at 133.72 uh, actually. Again, my initial stop loss is a close, a close below these lows here. And I'm looking for some type of pop to the upside there. Nothing too exciting, but that's, that's just where I'm at right now. Uh, Netflix came down big time yesterday because of the uh, less than stellar reviews of Arrested Development, a new a new program and uh, that Netflix bought. So it's down a little bit. This is definitely on my radar right now because we are not only trading between the mid to the lower band, but we'll see if today, we'll see if today is able to penetrate down through yesterday's sell-off. Okay, that low yesterday was 212.98. Today's low so far is 213.97. Okay, we're trading at 220, so we're rallying right now. But I would like to see an inside pattern. I would like to see the high lower than yesterday's high, which obviously that will happen. The question is, will the low actually take out yesterday's low? And the, by the looks of it right now, it doesn't look like the market's going to take out yesterday's low. So what that will do is it'll set up for a potential trade for tomorrow. And I'll go through that with you tomorrow, okay? Again, still sitting on the stock CEF. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting at all. We're long this at what? What do we say? Fifteen fifty. So we're still holding uh, on this on this trade right here. And that's about it for now. Um, let's see. Look at bonds have really sold off. Bonds really sold off. Um, let's take a look at a weekly. Now, remember what I in the last few months I've said this is like a decade play that you want to be long the TBT. Let's look at the weekly chart. This is the 30-year the T-bond chart. 30-year T-bond chart. Okay. This is a big level right here. 140 and 14 30 seconds. If we're able to close below that level, I think we'll get a sell-off in bonds. Which which means interest rates will move higher. All right. Again, this is an interest rate play, right? So when bonds, 30-year bonds go up interest rates go down, right? So at these levels right in here, right, these highest highs, this, I mean, this is the highest level the 30-year the T-bond's ever been trading at, and that mirrors with interest rates being the lowest they've ever been in history up in here, right? So when interest rates move, or when bonds move lower, interest rates, rates start to move higher, right? 
So again, a big level here. And again, I got a white horizontal line representing this low here. We start closing below 140 and 40, 140 and 14, 30 seconds. Uh, then I think this can move down and maybe retesting this level at 132. So the inverse, right, is TBT. So if you trade an IRA account, this would be, this would be the play to the long side. So if you think interest rates are going higher, which obviously they will long term, they have to, then you would want to be positioned in the TBT trade. And that's a, I just want to alert you to that as well. And I'm going to call it a day. Have a profitable day. And, let, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.